Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. Myelination, now I find this fascinating, but also really, really inspiring. This is how practice works, or even why practice works. When we make a physical movement on the drums for the first time, whether it's a basic strike, or a bounce double stroke, or finger control, or a molar star whip, any of those things, the first time we do it, we're just presenting our nervous system, our brain and our muscles working together with the information up there. We're setting the precedent. And you could think of the neural pathway that's required to make that movement work as like a tube or a pipe. Uh, at first, the pipe is very, very leaky. Some information gets through, but most of it sort of leaks out all over the place. Now, as we do quality, slow, deliberate repetitions of that physical movement, what happens is this amazing physical, chemical, biological, I guess, change happens in our brains, myelination. Our brain lays down this sort of fatty substance called myelin. And what that does is it wraps around or insulates that pipe, that neural pathway that the information is, fly is flowing down. So what happens is with quality repetition, more and more and more of this myelin gets laid down and more and more insulation happens around that pipe that the information is flowing down. When you see a musician playing something, whatever it is, if they're making a physical movement and it looks smooth and fast and flowing and people say, oh, they're a natural or they make it look easy. That's why it's because myelination has taken place. The pathway required to make that movement is by that point really, really well insulated. So slow, deliberate repetitions will build up that myelin, insulate the pathway and you'll be in business. That was your one minute lesson.